Hi everyone! In this video, we will try to find the answer to the question What is the difference between error, defect, bug, failure, and fault? We are going to check ISTQB theory and talk in human language after. Let's begin. Let's start with the ISTQB explanation. Currently, ISTQB is the leading global certification scheme in the field of software testing. And when we'll talk formally, we'll use their syllabus and the glossary as references. A link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. There are six words in ISTQB related to our topic. Error, mistake, defect, bug, fault, failure. And we need to understand the difference between those. Let's start with the error. The error and mistake are synonyms. The definition is the same for both. Error is the human action that produces an incorrect result. We won't dive deep into ISTQB theory for now. Let's get familiar with the definitions first. The next one is the defect. Similar to an error and mistake, the next three words, defect, bug and fault, are synonyms. And the definition of those sounds like this. An imperfection or deficiency in a work product where it does not meet its requirements or specifications. Very theoretical and hard to understand. So we'll try to explain it in a minute. The last term is a failure. And according to the definition, it is an event in which a component or system does not perform a required function within specified limits. And again, it is very theoretical and hard to understand. ISTQB theory is complex, broad and comprehensive and deserves its own video. If you want, you can check their website, the link to which we will provide in the description of the video. Let's move to the human language for now and compare how these words are used in reality. And I need to be honest with you. In reality, most people don't use these words. People use the word bug everywhere. Something went wrong, bug. The user has a login issue, a bug. Production is down, bug. If anything goes wrong, it is a bug. Nobody uses fancy words. If you're confident enough and you agree with this point of view, you can protect it. You can go with this answer that theoretically there is a difference, but in reality nobody cares. But most likely you will need still to say something smart, and because of it you need to explain the difference between the terms. And it leads us to the back to the ISTQB explanations. Let's try to figure out what the difference is according to the theory. First of all, we stick with the structure. Error and mistake are synonymous, and bug, fault and defect are synonymous as well. It helps us to simplify things and avoid additional confusion. But when we check the error definition one more time, we understand the confusion is unavoidable. A human action that produces an incorrect result. It is true and it is a very theoretical explanation. And it's hard to understand what does it mean. But let's try to humanize this a little. I mean, let's try to talk in a human language. But I must warn you. Everything that will be said next is our interpretation of the ISTQB theory. We can be wrong, because to err is human. If you want to get familiar with ISTQB theory, the link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the video materials. Now let's go back to the definition. We propose a small change. The error, in our opinion, is the human action that introduces a defect. This is not too different from the ISTQB definition, but it's easier to understand. Let's add some visualization to it. And we begin from the old, old days. You remember old Romans, so that is what they looked like. And they had a saying, to err is human. In other words, human beings are fallible, people make mistakes. And believe it or not, developers are humans, which means they make mistakes. So what kind of mistakes developers make? Let's talk about a very simple, basic example. 
Okay, this is not common developer's mistake, but this is an example of the big mistake and it is in human language. Let's check technical example. In the IT world, everything starts with the requirements. The developer won't start to write code as soon as he knows what exactly he needs to write. Let us show you a small example of the requirements. If the total price of the products in the card is more than $100, the 10% discount should be applied to the total price. It's a very simple and clear story. So what possibly can go wrong? Yes, it sounds simple, but to implement it in a programming language is not that easy. And the developer needs to think about the elegant solution to the task. And developers are specific people. They think in different words than human language. When a developer reads a story, he starts to think about the code and decides to write this kind of code. The code is not finalized. The last line of code is not finished. The developer still thinks about the formula. But when he writes the code, people interrupt him, somebody proposes to play foosball, and when somebody proposes to play the foosball, you accept the offer. Anyway, the developer is interrupted. When the developer returns to the code, he simply forgets what was he coding. So he just leaves the code as it is, and it looks fine. In other words, the developer makes a mistake. So let's go back to the definition now. Error, mistake, a human action that introduces a defect. In our case, the developer forgot to finalize the formula. The defect is in the system, and it leads us to the next definition. The defect definition. According to the IS2QB, the defect is an imperfection or deficiency in a work product where it does not meet its requirements or specifications. And it's a good, complex, theoretical definition. And we are going to make it even more complex. At least have more words in it. So it will sound like this. The defect is a flaw or fault in a work product where it does not meet its requirements or specifications and causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result to behave in unintended ways. Mostly visualization should help to understand the concept. But not in this case. You already saw it. The unfinished formula, the wrong calculations in the code, is the bug itself. Let's write it down. The defect is the wrong calculation in the code. But we don't think writing it down really helps to understand the concept. When you look at the formula and code, you have no idea what is wrong there. And the best way to illustrate that is to talk about the last word in our list. The failure. According to IS2QB, the failure is an event in which a component or system does not perform a required function within specified limits, as usual with the theory. The definition is very wide and complex, as usual. In our case, we can make it less accurate but more understandable. In simple words, an event when, in which the code with the defect is executed and the result is an expected behavior of the system visible to the end user. Yes, this definition is not extremely accurate, but it emphasizes the differences between the terms. Let's talk about the failure in our example and then summarize the whole picture. Let us remind you of the story. If the total price of the products in the card is more than $100, the 10% discount should be applied to the total price. Let's talk about the use case scenario for the story, and time to move to the end user. Let's say you want a new pair of jeans. You don't want to go to the mall and you go to the website. And you have found a pair of perfect jeans, and of course they are on sale. Believe it or not, the price of those is $100.99. It's above the price where the discount should be applied. So we can see even the special pop-up. Special offer, 10% off. So you click Add to Card button and... The user is redirected to another page, the shopping cart. The lovely pair of jeans is in the cart. The banner about a special offer with 10% off price is displayed so users wonder how much the final price is, and it is 
$10,099.00. You like jeans, but you will never buy those. And this is an example of failure. The incorrect discount calculations for customers. And now we can talk about the whole picture. The error and the mistake are the same things. A human action that introduces a defect. The defect is the same as the bug or the fault. Is a flaw or fault in a work product where it does not meet its requirements or specifications and causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result or to behave in unintended ways. And the failure, an event that occurs when the code with the defect is executed and results in unexpected behavior of the system visible to the end user. And in our case, the developer makes a mistake such as forgetting to finalize the formula. It introduces the bug, the wrong calculation in the code. And the defect leads to the failure. When the program is executed, the defect results in an expected behavior, such as the incorrect discount calculations for customers, so the customer fails to buy the jeans they liked. And that is our answer to the question, what is the difference between error, bug, defect, failure, and fault?